What? Hi guys, it's Shanae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 5 of Perfect Propose. I'm really excited because I've really been enjoying this show so much. I'm intrigued to see where this episode goes. Before we do get into it however, I just want to say a quick almost a thank you to our amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for uncut and exclusive reactions, the links for it will be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. And now after the video, let's get into today's video. <laughs> The way he just has no confidence in himself. But Kai was not the same as the other one. He was not the same as the other one. He was not the same as the other one. He was not the same as the other one. Not the backup. Hey, I can't get back to you. Hey, that. Chao, Rokuni. It feels that easy. Maybe you should use that to try and like help him, because clearly he can't say no to his boss. But what if he wants to say yes to you, but because you never asked? Then ever is the opportunity to be like, oh yes, I, I um, I'm sorry, I really can't. But I mean, to be fair, we did see how that went at the time with the f fair festival. Sorry, um, so yeah. But I just I so badly want him to get out of this toxic work environment because, as I said, luckily his colleagues are nice, but good colleagues can only like alleviate so much of the mental exhaustion why is this so sweet i just kind of want to tell them to get their nonsense together because a company that expects your employees to work until 3 a.m on a regular basis, the company is the one doing something wrong, not the employees. That's what I'm trying to say. Because obviously that kind of implies that they're understaffed and they're overworking their existing staff. I know he's not the type, but like, I still wish they could band together and just start their own company or something like that. And then companies like this dare to wonder why their employees leave them. Isn't he reminding you of someone, aka yourself? Just remember, the company isn't going to be there for you when you collapse because they pushed you too far. You need to be there for yourself. I know it's easier said than done. PC is too hot. Can you shut down? Is it too hot? Ah, ma. Well, we can't sleep so that we can't get up. Wow, that isn't a freaking metaphor. Mhm. Ak, you need to like make home a priority. You won't ever say that. To him though, because I don't think Kai wants him to feel obligated, but the hints are being dropped.
This is I'm like I'm gonna be stubborn about this. I'm gonna tempt you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what's it what is doing? <laughs> yeah, he feels the way you've been feeling. <laughs> so, like this is so bad to me because it's so raw and real in a sense. <laughs> Like, I, I'm sorry to say this because at the back of my mind, I'm always like, you know, people need jobs and that's often why they stay in these kinds of jobs. But if they fire you over needing to go home after days and days of pulling all-nighters, then it's better that way because you would have died in that post anyway. Like, literally, you might die. Yeah. I'm glad you're starting to realize that. No. The reason why he quit was because he saw that it wasn't impossible, like there was no winning. But I'm glad he's slowly starting to realize what his former leader was trying to tell him. That's a good point. It's a good question. Because he's obviously capable. I think even if he doesn't just up and quit, he should really start looking for better opportunities. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous because you don't see the people demanding them to pull these hours, actually pulling these hours themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so painful because on the one hand, I'm like thinking what about his job and all that but then on the other hand this is kind of good because i feel like he wants to say stay with watari at the moment because he think he feels that watari needs him and i mean we i agree but now suddenly he has nothing to to really call his own, any, own anymore i guess he i mean he can find another job at it uh, I'm not saying he can't, but I felt as if, even though he didn't voice it, the restaurant was more than that to him. But is he going to feel obligated to move out of the house now? Because, like, originally there was supposed to be an end point to this, and now there isn't. And I wonder if he'll be okay taking advantage of Watri, even though I don't think that's what he's doing. I don't think that's how Watri would view it. But I'm wondering if that's the way he would view it. Slack King! Oh, thank you. It's not for their own good, it's for your company's good. There's a big difference. You. Mm hmm. You better be very careful here. 
You'd do it if you're so clever. Oh, this man is pushing me. Like, sometimes you just want them to step on a Lego, you know? How, that, how does that feel, standing up for someone? I'm hoping that it'll give him more courage to do that in the future as well. And maybe stand up for yourself. Like, at this rate, he might genuinely collapse. This person who never expected anything is starting to want to expect something as well. I mean, I'm sorry to say it, is it even a point going home at this point? Like, it looks like you basically have to just change into new clothes and go back. I suppose it's good that Kai isn't forcing him because I think a lot of the times what can make people clamp up instead of actually listening to what people say is this constant push for them to do the thing that everyone, including themselves, knows is the right thing but they're not ready yet and sometimes they just need time to decide that for themselves. That's what I was about to say is that that is not the scary but it's the scary but is him saying all of this out loud, being well aware of it, but not having the energy to change it. Makes sense. Maybe something good. But unfortunately, it's not guaranteed. What? Yeah, no, was not, was not, no, 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 was not expecting that. うん。誘われたから。あ、誘ってねえし。でも。嫌じゃなかった。うん。そろそろ答え出た。いや。まだ。バレ。うん、すごく。I mean, we 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 knew this was coming. I mean, I do think it's good though cuz I think he needs this push in order to have something to motivate him because he's had everything else up until this point and nothing has been that thing that he needed to create change and i do think he's at a point where he really does need need to because either it's gonna be something positive like okay i wanna you know 
change the way things are so that Kai and I can stay together. Or, alternatively, oh, I ended up in the hospital with a heart attack, so I might, might need to change my lifestyle. Like, that is the two routes I'm seeing right now, and I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but the overworking has really been stressing me out. Like, honestly, this is just heading so close to home for me, and it's not even that this is something that I've experienced to this extent, but it's like, I think it's so easy to slip into. I'm hoping that we'll kind of see a little bit of a change in the next episode. I want to see what he can do, because I'm also kind of hoping that we'll see him quit and start something new within the span of the series instead of ending on him quitting because then like it'll feel as if there's hope i want to kind of see them stand by each other's sides during a transitional period which i feel like him moving into a new job would be but i mean i'll just be happy with whatever they give me because i haven't been disappointed so far and i'm really invested in just watchery's character and seeing him succeed in whatever form that means and also like let's not glance over the fact that there was just the unexpected kiss there at the end like yeah no was not expecting that especially considering the way that the episode was going i can't even really say that i was expecting it before i knew what this episode was gonna entail but Especially I wasn't expecting it because of the way that the episode went. You know, it just didn't seem like that was where it was gonna go. But yeah, I just, I love where they ended it off. I can't wait to watch the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you thought. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.